Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video of Blue Lister Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a basic redstone TNT launcher. But before we jump into today's video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a like. I appreciate it, and it helps out a ton. Alright, so in today's video, the final result will look like this. It will be a fully built TNT cannon that works very well. It is simple and easy to build. So, let's jump into the video. Alright, so first you want to find a spot to build your redstone thing. So, you want to find a spot, and then you want to place one piston facing this way, another piston facing this way, and another piston facing this way. It should look like they're all facing into each other, except for this one facing down the middle. Then you want to build a frame going out a few blocks in each direction. I recommend just copying how many blocks I do, which is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I recommend doing 6 blocks. Alright, now once you've got your 6 blocks laid out, you want to place 2 ladders at the end here. Then above the ladders, you want to place 4 dispensers just like this. Behind the dispensers, you want to place 4 blocks like this. And you want to use a redstone repeater. Place it in front of each one. Don't add any ticks, just place it right there. Then you want to connect them like this, and then connect that redstone leading out up to here, where will be the level lever to control it. Then, once you've done that, you want to place a redstone repeater behind every single one of these pistons you placed at the start to power them up. So, once you do that really quickly, you want to connect it up to a lever, and you want to connect the other thing leading out the side to a lever as well. Now, you want to make sure that your redstone signal will reach all the way. So you want to add some redstone repeaters with zero ticks around the place. But then on the way over there, you want to add three redstone repeaters and add them all to all the ticks you can get. So, once you've done that, all you need to do next is put a water bucket and your redstone machine is built. Now all you have to do is put TNT in the pistons and watch it explode. Alright, now once you've done that, all the pistons should be loaded and you're ready to flick this lever a few times. Once you flick the lever, this TNT will go out here and then it, um, after that, this will drop onto the ladder and it will blow it up that way. So let's test it out. So as you can see, it works, and that is a simple redstone machine. But that's going to be all for today's video, so don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a like. This is Blue Rooster Gaming, and thanks for watching. Peace.